Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggiero here, Clark Commando 1983, and got a really special unboxing here. I was sent this by Danny Parker and his crew. Thank you, Danny. And uh, I was going to say I got this on pre order through Compass, but they were kind enough with my cancer fight, etc., to send me. The only copy right now that they had. So this is uh, Compass Games' Last Gamble. It's a remake of Hitler's Last Gamble, which were originally published by 3W Games. And as a lot of people know, it was a real mess. But what is interesting, and he recently passed, sadly, was... The original map art was done by none other than Dean Essig. A lot of people maybe don't know that. But I had played the original. There was a set of rules floating around. and Anyways, really neat, detailed game. And I think what's going to be special about this game, and that's why I pre-ordered two copies. Yes, two. I know. Um... But Danny Parker is a noted historian, um, and he's done some great designs over the years and brought us a lot of joy. So this box is super heavy, or I'd show you the back. I may do that towards the end of this video. But I'll, let's open the box and look inside. So I got this really nice little note um, only sample on the planet with warm regards from Danny Parker, Rich Hoffman, and Rick D. Jeralmi. And I apologize if I butchered your name. But thank you guys. This really brought me a lot of joy. And as you can see, it's punched because this is their playtest copy. And I gotta tell you, even the counters weigh a lot. I got it nicely uh, clipped here. And I'm really hoping I get a chance to get this to the table. Got a couple of projects in front of me. Really nice graphics. Um, and just, I don't know, just a ton of counters. Even this bag weighs a lot. So. But inside, of course, your copy, when you get it, will have unpunched counters. It's got this really nice rule booklet. Um, nice graphic on the back. Nice graphic on the front. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but uh, looks like it's going to be a nice color rule book. Um... And it is fairly detailed game, but you can see it's pretty big printing, nice spacing. Looks like it comes in at, let's see, got some charts to photocopy in here, it looks like. You can see, uh, only 64 pages. So, actually not too bad. Um... Looks like we got a little bit of, like I said, this is a play test copy. So you see a handwritten errata note there, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, like I said, this is a play test version, not the final version. But uh, looks nice. Get the, you're going to get this nice hefty game booklet. There again. Some nice graphics on the front and the back. And the game booklet looks like, and like I said, I'm just going to do a little short. It's got game variants, uh, allied variants, designer notes. Who doesn't like good designer notes? And I'm sure they're from Danny. They're great. Um, the game is history. Yeah, it looks like these more rules. Let's see what they are. No, 
looks like uh, scenarios, actually. Yeah, victory conditions. Let's see what else. Let's just take a quick look. Historical notes. Look at that. Lots of pictures. Isn't that like just beautiful? I'm telling you, this item alone is just going to be worth... Uh, the game introduction, designer notes. Oh boy, I can't wait to read that. Who doesn't like reading designer notes? Then you get this nice historical study from Danny. I mean, just look at this. Just that alone, huh? Just look at this. Look at the love that went into this. It's just so great. There again, some nice illustrations. But basically, you're getting the whole book uh, with the game on the history of the Battle of the Bulge, uh, written by Danny Parker. And like I said, really great historian. And as some people have noted, let's tip this on its side here. You get, and I know it looks overwhelming, I actually looked through these earlier, and I'm not going to go through them all, but these are all the player aid cards, uh, scenario cards, you don't need them all out on the table at once, and we'll just take a quick look at a couple of them, so you got like your scenario setup cards, you've got... Uh, let's see here, tons of those. Player aid cards, combat results table. I mean, this package is just incredible, I think, for what you're going to get uh, for your money here. I'm just flipping through some of this stuff here. So lots, lots of scenario cards. So don't be intimidated by that, but nice color, the quality of the paper or the card stocks well done. And then we get the beautiful maps. And I'm gonna say what I know and I remember from playing the original, and I'm not, I don't have the room to unfold all the maps, but the, this really, oh, let's turn it so it's right side up is the terrain is very important in the game. And who doesn't enjoy a good map? But I think it has nice colors, and it may not come through on the video, but it's a nice uh, matte finish. And it's on a very nice, um, not paper, but uh, like a cardboard stock, it looks like. And it looks like we got, how many maps here? Two. And I could, I don't want to miscount here. It's kind of hard to tell, show another piece of this map. You know, really nice. Two. Looks like three maps. Is that right? Unless there's one folded away in here. Guess we'll look at the back of the box. It just, and it's got a, uh, not a fancy finish, but it's just really nice. And it's a nice thick cardstock. I tell you, I can't wait to get the finished product. And here's the back of the box. I'm going to tell you, this thing weighs a ton. You're just going to get so mapped. Okay, so the maps, yeah, three maps. Looks like there's two regular size map and one 25 by 21. Like I said, this is a play, uh, a proof version. So as we know, like the stuff could change, but you get, um, there's going to be six set uh, counter sheets. They're five ace. This is a designer signature edition. So last gamble remake from Columbus games, Columbus games, compass games. Uh, of Hitler's Last Gamble. And I want to thank Danny Parker and his crew so much for 
getting me this copy. I'm super, super excited about uh, getting the final version. I have a couple projects that I'm currently working on, uh, but I, I do hope to actually get this to the table possibly in May and uh, get a, a replay. And I thank you just so much. I really, really appreciate this more than you can ever know. And it just means the world to me that my wargaming family has been so supportive of me and my terminal cancer fight. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Thank you, Compass Games. And thank you to all of you. Take care, be well, and we'll see you on the next video.